YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're taking it back to season one of South Park. And we're checking out weight gain 4,000. Listen, if you want to take your support to the next level and get access to full episode reactions, the link to my Patreon is in the description below. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. But uh, y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Did you see that rainbow this morning? Yeah, it was huge. Uh, I hate those things. Nobody hates rainbows. Yeah, what's there to hate about rainbows? You'll just be sitting there, minding your own business, and they'll come marching in and crawl up your leg and start biting the inside of your ass, and you'll be all like, Hey, get out of my what? Ass, you stupid rainbows. Carmen, what the hell are you talking about? I'm right. talking about rainbows. I hate those friggin' things. Rainbows are those little arches of color that show up during a rainstorm. Oh, rainbows. Oh, yeah, I like those. Those are cool. <laughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> Hold eh? on. Oh, nothing. Forget it. No. What marches in, crawls up your leg, nothing. and bites the inside of your ass? Nothing. Children, children, remember the Save Our Fragile Planet essay contest that you children worked so hard on last month? Anybody watching this video can uh, read and speak Spanish. Please tell me I saw what it said on the board. I got to run that back. Hold on. Chupe mis chichis. No me toquen los huevos. Mi verga es fea y morena. Hey, yo, I would translate that, but I don't know if, uh, if YouTube would like that. You know what I'm saying? But what the hell? <laughs> children. Remember the Save Our Fragile Planet essay contest that you children worked so hard on last month? The winner of the National Save Our Fragile Planet contest is... Eric Cartman. <laughs> Congratulations, Eric, on writing the award-winning paper. Yo, Wendy was so confident. She was convinced that she won. She thought she did it, bro. And it was Cartman. Damn. So... I'm assuming this is where, like, where the hatred towards Cartman, you know what I'm saying, started at. I could be wrong, but I don't remember on um, Cartman gets in probe Wendy being a part of that, other than her interactions with with uh, with Stan. You know what I mean? Kick ass! That's impossible. Cartman doesn't know a rainforest from a pop tart. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Pop tarts are frosted. Out of over a million papers, Eric's was chosen as the grand prize winner. Hey, you see? You shouldn't have written a paper about dolphins. Dolphins are stupid. Dude, dolphins are like the second smartest animal on the planet. Right. Uh, ah, right. If they're so damn smart, how come they get caught in those fishing nets all the time? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, there's more. It says here that Eric's trophy will be presented to him by... Kathy Lee Gifford? Kathy Lee is coming to South Park? And the Kathy presentation Lee? will be on national television. Television? Kathy Lee Gifford. I don't believe it. Didn't she have like a like a like a show with um with um Regis? That's who I'm thinking of. I could be wrong. Y'all let me know in the comments. Mayor, we should decorate the town square. Then we should have the chef of the school cafeteria sing a song and play up the ethnic diversity of our town. That's right. He's a black guy, isn't he? Black as the night itself, Mayor. Yes. <laughs> and we can even have the children of South Park put on a little play. Guess what? After I'm on television, I'm going to be totally famous. Hitler was famous, too. Hello there, children. <laughs> hey, hey, Chef. chef. How are my little crackers today? Good. Did y'all hear about the new? Hey, yo, <laughs> did he really just call the kids crackers? Bro. One more time, one more time. How are my little crackers today? <laughs> Good. Did y'all hear about the news? <laughs> Kathleen Gifford is coming to South Park. The mayor just called and asked me to sing at the ceremony. Wow, are you going to do it? Of course. Kathleen is a beautiful, sultry queen of sexual fantasy. And if I sing to her, maybe I can lure her into a night of exotic delectation. Go ahead, yeah, Chef! Cool. Have you forgotten about all the pain and suffering that Kathy Lee Gifford caused you? Oh, they Mr. have a history. Hess, that, that was a long time ago, and 
and I was only a child, we could have won that talent show. We could have been huge. 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 Knock, knock, Mr. Hat. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange Wait, glad. I this is the flashback? Bro, he looks the same, just shorter. He got the gray hair, the, the, the big bald spot. You know what I mean? I didn't say banana. Thank you. Wah, 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 wah. Kathy Lee Epstein. If they could see me now, that little gun of mine. I'm eating fancy chow and drinking fancy wine. I'd like to stumble bumps to see for a fact the kind of top job first rate chums I attract. All I can say is, wow, well, we look where I am. Tonight I landed pow, right in a pot of two. I said, oh, holy cow, they never believe it if my friends could see me now. Yeah, she got that in the bag. Yo, take your L, bro. She won. <gasps> No, Mr. Hat, I couldn't kill Kathy Lee Gifford. Oh, my God. Mr. Garrison, I'm asking you to direct our little play. Oh, that's perfect. You see, Mr. Hat, we don't have to kill her. We can just upstage her. Bro, Mrs. they're going to hear you. you what are you doing? Essays. We think Cartman might have cheated. Who cares? <laughs> now, kids, what say we give it our South Park best? And who's our little prize winner again? Me! Hey, Cartman! How about we get in shape, huh? We want to look our best for the TV cameras, don't we? She called him fat. I'm gonna be on TV. I'm gonna be on TV. That's grimy, bro. We don't believe for a minute that you won that contest fairly, fat boy. Tell me what you wrote about. I can't. I have to go home and get in shape. Yeah, right. You'll go and sit in front of the TV and eat cheesy poofs, ass master. Screw Damn. you, hippie. We'll be right back to <laughs> he was right. Pals after this. He was absolutely hey, you right. you need to get in shape fast! Are you tired of being a 90-pound weakling? Yeah, I only weigh 90 pounds. Then bulk up quick with Weight Gain for the. It's designed to enter the mouth and go directly to the stomach where it is distributed to the bloodstream. Now available at stores everywhere. Get some today. I think that's, that's normal. <laughs> Beef cake. 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 Oh damn. <laughs> damn. But bro, where's where's the protein? It's just fat. Where's the protein? It's not gonna do nothing for you, bro. Mom, can you get me some weight gain for a thousand? Okay, Eric. I'll get you some at the store tomorrow. But ma'am, I need it for tomorrow. But tomorrow is grocery day, Eric. Ma'am, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll be going to the store now then. Yeah, this kid sucks so much. Hey, dudes. What the hell is wrong with you, Carl? Hey, Haven't yo. You lost three feet of snow on the ground? Yeah, yeah. I oh, have man's got a pink beef and I cake. Show it off. Uh, you got that? What? Tank top. He's got to weigh 90 pounds. I'm up to 94. Thank you very much. Oh, he went up four pounds already? Cartman, you're, you're, you're supposed to work out so you can bulk up, but you're already bulk. You don't really need to be bulking up anymore, bro. Bulk up to what? Fat ass? Super fat ass? <laughs> I, I don't have to take that kind of crap from your scrawny weakling. Grimy. <laughs> Sweet. Check me out. Such a beefcake, I can't even get through the door. This is the story of South Park. It begins over a hundred years ago when the noble and hardy Oot Indians lived on the land. Then, from the east, came the great white pioneers. Oh my god! Oh my god! The pioneers More energy. met the Indians and negotiated for their fertile lands. They're really, they're really hurting them, bro. They're, they're using their actual strength. <laughs> Mr. Garrison, this is not appropriate. Do bro. you actually think that Kathy Lee Gifford would enjoy this? To hell with Kathy Lee Gifford. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. What have I said? Talk about wide load. Yeah, I'm really no. starting to fill out nicely. He looks like a muffin, bro. He looks like a cupcake. Look how he sags over his pants. You're not filling out nicely. You're fatter than ever. Right. I'm getting insane. Carmen, you're such a fat ass that when you walk down the street, people go, God 
¡Ya me ya, ya, big fat ass! ¡Ya, ya, ya! ¡Big ass, big ass! ¡God damn, that's a big fat ass! Hey. Hi, guys. Oh, look, another hippie. Peace, Wendy. <laughs> Shut up, Cartman. Oh. That looks really nice on you. The lacquered black really matches What is he eyes. wearing? You talking to me? You talking to me? Is that a trench coat? I don't know. It's a little small. Oh, okay. damn. He's not How playing, bro. You talking to me? Hmm, no, I don't like this one either. <laughs> Here's the same gun with a wood finish. You talking to me? I don't see anybody else around here, so you must be talking to me. I'll take it. My essay by Eric Cartman. When I wrote the following pages, or rather the bulk of them, I lived alone in the woods on the shore of... Well, oh. Mr. Hat, I guess old Kathy Lee really will be surprised when she gets here tomorrow. Ba bang oh Wendy knows. Holy crap. Uh, hello, Officer Bar Brady. Nice gun. Thanks. Is there somewhere in town where I can get a good, clear shot or view of Kathy Lee? <laughs> mm. You know, I think the book depository would be a good bet. Yes, that might do quite nicely. Damn. Thank you, Officer Bar Brady. No problem. Ha! Caught you red-handed! No pictures of Kathy Lee! <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute, bro. So he doesn't want a camera to, to get near her, but he allows a gun? This is sweet. Oh my Can't god, he looks like a red up. trash bag. They're looking totally ripped. Beefcake! Beefcake! I don't think they're gonna be Beefcake! able to get out of the brain, Cartman. You guys, we have to stop him! Stop who? Mr. Garrison! He's going to try to kill Kathy Lee Gifford! You gotta get over this whole jealousy thing. Alright, seriously. Just face it. I wrote a better paper than you. There's something more important right now. Let's go! Wendy, you So she's able to put like her like their differences aside to make sure that nothing happens to Kathy Lee. You know what I mean? Shout out to Wendy for that. Gotcha. Is that a glass dome? Damn, I guess I'm not the only person in America who's thought of killing Kathy Lee Gifford. <laughs> we love you, Kathy Lee. <laughs> we love you, too. Come on, you little bitch. You've got to come out of your precious bubble sooner or later, Missy. Our very own South Park Elementary Chef will sing a special song in honor of Mrs. Lee Gifford. Oh, Kathy Lee, how I'd love to lay you down uh. and lick every inch of your body oh. with my tongue. Shit. What? Kathy Lee, you're my sexual fantasy. What? How about you and me? Uh, uh, thank you, Get Chef, for that heartwarming song. Sweet. Love. Yo, this is a dope song, though. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. God bless you, Kathy Lee. Yo, he, he had, listen, listen, listen. He had to shoot his shot. You know what I'm saying? Did he score? Probably not, but hey, you miss every single shot that you don't take. You feel me? Mr. Garrison is about to kill Kathy Lee. We have to find him. What? You mean the teacher? Wait a minute. Is there somewhere in town where I can get a good, clear shot or view of Kathy Lee? <laughs> hmm. You know, I think the book depository would be a good bet. I think the book depository would be a good bet. Book depository. Depository. Book depository. Book depository. Damn, he could be anywhere. <laughs> I'll send out an APB. <laughs> I hate this guy. He's so dumb. His own memory played the location over and over and over again and he still had no clue come on mr bar brady you gotta do better than that mr garrison stop oh they made Leave it us. they made it they made we it. must finish what we have begun i know that she's hurt you she's hurt a lot of people you can't know you should have won that talent show it is with a great honor and pride that i present the winner this trophy eric would you please come up here here it is my big moment of they gotta push and pull and him she finished up. finished it all by throwing her voice with two dummies at once. I know that, Mr. Garrison, but this isn't the answer. It is too late for me, young Wendy. You can't win all the time. And if you don't win, you certainly can't hold it against the person who did, because that's the only way you ever really lose. Yeah. Mm. You're right. Good. Man, did she really throw her voice with two dummies at once? 
The bitch must die. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! God! God! The flagpole just went straight through him. Just straight through him. I'm holding Cartman's award-winning paper. It's actually nothing more than Walden with Henry David Thoreau's name crossed out and Cartman's name written in its place. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, Kathy Lee Gifford's gone. <laughs> what about not holding anything against the person who wins? Well, not if it's Cartman. Hey, where are you all going? They don't even know what Walden is. Bro, everybody was there for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm saying? Um, this dude, uh, Mr. Garrison, wanted to get revenge. Cartman cheated, you feel me, and, and, and won. The um the mayor wanted to be senator. The only one that, that that had a legitimate reason to want to be there and wasn't able to like be there for the correct reason was um was Wendy. Her her article would have won had Cartman not not cheated. You know what I mean? I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for those meddling kids. You're lucky you missed Kathy Lee Gifford and that nobody got hurt. Mm, what do you mean, bro? We hope you can come back to school real soon, Mr. Garrison. Well, children, I'd love to, but the doctors say that Mr. Hat needs more therapy. We can still get her. <laughs> oh, I thought it was... I thought it was for him. <laughs> I didn't think it was for the puppy. Sorry that I ruined everyone's chances for being on TV. Not Cartman. He gets to be on TV anyway. Really? On what? Obesity. Adiposity. <laughs> Corpulence. <laughs> Whatever word you use, it represents one thing. Yo, that looks like, uh, like Randy. Being a big fat ass. We have with us today, live via satellite, Eric Cartman from South Park, who is now so obese, he can't even get out of his house. Oh my <laughs> God. This is my 600 pound life right here, bro. That show on TLC. Holy crap. Put me on your air. Is there anything you'd like to say to people out there? Follow your dreams. You can reach your goals. I'm living proof. <laughs> he needs to run his ass around the block a few times. Hey! Damn, woman. I just gave you Chef sweet love in five day, minutes bro. ago. You trying to kill me? Let's go, W Chef. Now, this was a solid episode, bro. I definitely enjoyed that. We're going to do three, four, five, all of them things, man. We're definitely going to go through the entire season of season one. And I hope you're here for it, man. Listen, I appreciate you pulling up and watching this video with me. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.